My name is Steve Burkholder, and uh, I live in the very northeast tip of Indiana, and this is uh, Ron, I, Chapman. Uh, Ron Chapman. He's a co-owner. We own this dog together. Her name is uh, Country's uh, Hot Babe. Uh, she's a three-year-old uh, ex-breed that uh, I actually uh, um, whelped at my house, and then uh, me and Ron become co-owners on her. Well, the history on her is uh, I actually owned her sire through a mutual friend, Donnie Walston. We owned her sire, and we had him, and he was he was turning out to be really good, and we wanted to kind of see what he was going to throw. So we, uh, another mutual friend of ours uh, by the name of Jerry Mole, had a female called Sis that he was looking to make an outcross with. So we decided to do that, and I actually whelped her at my house. Uh, she had a litter of seven puppies. Uh, that's where Ron Chapman come into the picture. He had actually seen it, and he called me up, and he said, hey, I'd like to... Uh, I'd like to buy a, a, a couple pups out of that litter. He said, I got my grandsons are uh, getting out of the military and I want to get them back into coon hunting. And uh, so he did, he, he bought actually three of them. He bought two females and a male. They started, uh, started at a fairly young age, pretty natural, kind of running around the hills of Tennessee where Ron lives there. And he was telling me about them. And when they was 11 months old, I had an opportunity to go down there and they did a real job on a coon. It was just puppies then. And I think it was about three months later, uh, Ron called up and we actually met in Bloomington, Indiana. And we formed a partnership there on that I would take them on up to home and would finish them out and just see where they would go to. And uh, started hunting her and started putting her in a few hunts. And she's a, she's a very talented female, a very personal female. You know, in life, you're fortunate enough to own one or two good ones. She definitely fits that criteria as a young dog. Randy Lester from Grundy, Virginia. A uh, slow talking bow. I bought him when he was about 16 months old as a started dog and trained him myself and this is where we got to. He's a fireball in the woods and he's just calm as he can be anytime he's on his lead. And he knows when you unsnap him what to do. He's great with my kids. You just you, he'll follow him around, play holler at him, see it, whatever. Part of the family. You never have to put a lead on him if you don't want to. A little nervous, a little excited, and just hoping for the best. If we win or lose, we feel the same. I mean, so dogs got me this far, and that's all that matters. Uh, my name's Chris Holmes. The dog's name is uh, Shaq's Redneck Shine. I'm from Lower South Carolina, right on the coast. Well, she actually came from Cheyenne Cummins. She was uh, bred and raised by Cheyenne. Uh, he started her. She. Um, Cheyenne got rid of her at a young age. Um, I had a partner, our buddy that hunts with me in the hunting club at home. He acquired her. Uh, I got her about a year ago from him. His name was Cranston Clark. And uh, I just took her and started hunting her and she got better and better. And We started training for the hunts. So we went to Georgia and uh, she actually treed four coons in Georgia. Was the high scoring dog to herself. And uh, that advanced us to, to come here and here we are. She just turned two at the end of February. She's a real intelligent dog. She's real curious. Uh, she stays by herself. She basically can treat any style of coon. Where we come from, our coons are thin and the, the hunting's tough, so she actually has to take tracks as she comes to them. She's very accurate. She's very independent. She's a real fun dog to hunt. She's got a distinct mouth. I've actually never won anything really big. I think the most I've ever won at one time was like four grand. I think we're already in $3,500 range as it is, it would just be nice to, to hunt for that amount of money. Um, everybody wants to win it, but I'd be just as happy to be in the, in the final round just to compete there. Um, she can compete with the best of them, it's just uh, if we can make it there. Jacob Lloyd, dog's name's Big Time Barley uh, from Creighton, Missouri. I uh, got Barley when he was about nine months old, and uh, he's five now, and he's wild as one can come. Uh, he's good in the daytime, but once it gets dark, he gets a, uh, he turns into about a nut job. And, uh, he's a good dog, though. He's, he, he's always kept me on my toes, and he's always, he's one of those dogs that can pull you through no matter what. You know, you can be down a lot, and he can pull you right back out, or he can put you in deep, one of the two, but he's usually pretty good, and He's my buddy. This is one of the biggest accomplishments I've ever uh, accomplished. Probably it's the highest I've ever been in something, you know, and it's been a pretty good deal. You know, we uh, went through a pretty rough spot there for a little bit and I wasn't even gonna end up going to the zones and we ended up going and he scored 725 Friday night and 
Uh, ended up being lucky enough to get him in through the whole thing. We didn't get a cast win on Saturday, and he looked good on Saturday, but not good enough. And uh, we got in with 7:25 on Friday up in Iowa, and uh, we got in and we come up here. And last night he looked good, and hoping we can look good one more night. He loves loving. He's a good dog. Till it's nighttime, he don't want you to touch you, and he wants to go run and do obnoxious things. My name is Bobby Taylor, and I'm from Chilhai, Virginia. Uh, his name's uh, Phil and Sharp, and uh, he's, he's a five-year-old whopper dog. I got him about two weeks ago, so we're kind of new to each other. Most of the time, um, they'll buy these dogs and, and uh, get them qualified for you know some big events and then turn around and resell them. So uh, I just got lucky enough to be standing there while they was talking about him. So, And uh, I bought him uh, at an event two weeks ago and had never even hunted with him before. You gotta learn the dog for sure. Uh, we've hunted him pretty much every night since, since the day we bought him. He's a big baby. Um, he, uh, he doesn't like to be around other dogs much and uh, uh, usually when he sits down, He's got a coon. I mean, he's had a coon every tree I've seen him go to except one, so he's a, he's a pretty accurate dog. It's going to be a tough one. Uh, I hunted with a lot of the dogs that's in here tonight, and uh, uh, some of the uh, more well-known handlers, I've hunted against them multiple times, and there's some good coon dogs in here tonight, so it's going to be a, it's gonna be a nail biter for sure. My name is Brett Hall, I'm from Coburn, Virginia, and this is Master Lock. He's a three-year-old and his style is, um, he's just a good solid hound. He is, uh, he's got a ton of heart and um, wh whatever he does, uh, he does it at, at 900 miles per hour and I, I really like that about him. This is actually my, my 20th year uh, competition hunting and um, my, my dad bought me a dog when I was 10 years old and um, got into competition hunts. I won my first one when I was 12. and and uh, starting in about 09, we had a, a little female that was just um, absolutely magnificent. We called her Hampton Stylist Jewel, and, and uh, we had a lot of success in the world, in the UKC world with her. And, um, but we, we never, never was able to capitalize on it, never was able to win it. Um, so I, I've, I've been really gunning to win a, a big hunt um, for as long as I can remember, and I would really love to win the first uh, tournament of champions. 